Hello everybody, Drew Wiley from wileysoutdoorworld.com here um, and today, this is not a full review but today I'm just going to be showing you quickly the new cyclone stove from Combat UK um, Been testing this out for probably a couple of weeks now to be honest um, It looks as you can probably tell yourself, really similar to the, the Jet Boil Mark 1. Um, we stock these ourselves, and if you're familiar with outdoor, Wiley's Outdoor World, you probably know that we test a lot of the kit ourselves, and you know, we'll, we'll just go out and see if it's um, if it'll last, if it'll break, if it'll do the job, if it's if it's value for money as well. Um, if a small stove like this. I mean, I'm going to do a lot more testing on it. Um, but I just wanted to do a little video to show you it in action and um, tell you what I think of it so far. Um, the build quality of it is actually really good. Uh, I've got a suspicion that it's exactly the same as the Highlander version. Highlander Outdoors. We stock that as well. So I thought I would, you know, test a couple of them stoves and just see if there is actually a difference. I've not actually tested the Highlander one but I have seen it and it does look identical obviously other than the branding that's on the on the cup itself. Now I don't know what to move this because it's on uneven ground. Um, which brings me quite neatly on to um, the bottom of the stove. I mean the, the stabiliser does attach to the gas canister but I've not done that on this just on this one occasion. I'm just curious to see how it performs, you know, like when it's full of water on uneven ground. And I have noticed um, that it does rock a little bit, you know, it boils quite violently, so it rocks a little bit like that. It's never fell over. Um, it's small, it's like, it's a lot lighter than the, the stove that I've been using before, which is the Teg stove. Um, and inside this, this is actually a homemade MRE meal that I've um, Using the, the Mylar bags is another one that I've got. You can get these on our website as well. I've not actually listed them yet, but they should be up by the time you actually see this video. Um, so today is just as much a test if the MRE meal idea, you know, the homemade ones work. Um, so inside this I've got mince, potatoes, carrot and turnip. Um, I'm quite a a keen little chef at home. So what I've done with these MREs is um, I made up three or four big pots of different things. I made spaghetti bolognese and uh, chili con carne and rice. Um, I've got chicken pasta, chicken, ch ch beg your pardon, chicken and chorizo pasta as well. You know, so these have been sitting for about three weeks now and they've been sealed. They've been cleaned. Now they're Ziploc bags, they're not um, heat sealed. I did try and get as much of the air out of them as possible first. And they certainly smell okay, so this is the test. Um, should be a couple of minutes until that's ready. Um, boiling speed, actually. Boils incredibly fast. Um, I've got no, no reservations about how quickly it can boil. It's, and it can boil this whole thing quite quickly. I'm not really one for, you know, telling you exact measurements and sizes. If you want to know the exact weight, for example, by all means send me a little message, you know. I'll tell you that. And you can find all the info on um, our website and all the, uh, the technical specs and things like that. But really the, the idea is just to let you know, would I use this myself? Absolutely, you know. Um, do I think it's better than a jet boil? I've never actually tested a jet boil. Um, so, it's hard to say. If any of you guys out there have got a jet boil, uh, let me know what you think about it. You know? But would I recommend it? Absolutely. You know, it's, it's reasonably priced. Um, it is good quality. Um, 
So yeah, I'm going to keep on testing this out for another couple of weeks. Um, we also did a, a giveaway for our email subscribers as well. In fact, that competition's still going. Because a lot of you guys signed up for the email newsletter, but you didn't actually enter the competition. You have to be a subscriber to enter. So, there you go. Anyway, I'm going to shoot off for now. I'm going to eat this. And uh, I'll catch you all soon. Jerome.